1922, my grandma and three of her other fellow teacher girlfriends traveled to Europe for the summer. They took an amazing adventure, and I can tell that I got my scrapbook organization and uh, love of history genes from my grandma. I have always loved reading through her journal. Even since I was a girl, I remember seeing the pictures and knowing the story. And then as I became a scrapbooker, I realized that I needed to put this in a better format and get this preserved for the rest of the family. When I started with Heritage Makers, I thought this is the perfect, perfect venue to get this book all combined for my entire family. I pulled the memorabilia, the information, and got that all into a book, created a format for it. And then I realized, hey, I'm gonna do some research too. And that's where the current research came in to see what everything looks like now in Europe. Are some of those hotels still standing? Are the monuments still there? What has happened? And it just was amazing. My grandma that went on this trip passed away when I was four, so I have very little memories of her. This is truly a treasure to me to see how she wrote and how she thought about things and to realize her love of history. And it, it's just wonderful to me. It's, it's, it's a treasure and my whole family just loves it. I was very close to both my parents growing up, but could always talk more easily with my dad. He had a way of getting me to open up, and we'd talk for hours. I could talk to him about anything. We found out that my dad had lung cancer in August. His 70th birthday was in September, and I knew I wanted to give him a book that told him just how special he was to me, and what an important part of my life he had been. I also wanted the book for myself because I knew it might be his last birthday. After I read it to him, we were both in tears. He said he was amazed at what I could do, but I knew I could not have done it without the tools that Heritage Makers gives us. Even though he sailed through treatments with very little trouble, he passed away in January. We were all with him, as he made the journey to heaven, and we will never forget it. One of the last things I said to him was to tell him what a good dad and grandpa he had been, that we loved him and that we knew he loved us too, because he told us every day. I should have said showed us every day too. He knew anyway. So he will be missed daily, and love forever. A man who left such a big hole in our lives, but also left us with so many great memories. Until I see you again, Dad. the book Look at Me Now as a celebration of all the things that Cole has accomplished. Cole is our youngest son and he was born in March of 2008 with spina bifida. I'll never forget the day, December 5th, 2007. That was the day we went for a routine ultrasound to find out about his condition. The remainder of his pregnancy was really difficult to endure because we just didn't know what his situation would bring and we didn't know how it would affect him. Even after he was born, the not knowing was the most difficult thing. No doctor could really tell us if he would walk or not. So we celebrated every accomplishment as they happened. 
when he crawled for the first time, when he pulled up to stand, when he took little steps with his walker, when he rode his tricycle, etc. On the week of his second birthday, he finally walked independently of his walker. We were so excited. I made this book at his third birthday when he phased out of his in-home physical therapy with our favorite physical therapist, Amy, and he went on to preschool. Today, he's a six-year-old little boy. He came with a big personality, which we celebrate. Well, sometimes. He's really smart, he's spunky, and he has the most beautiful blue eyes. He's in kindergarten and he's an amazing little reader. He plays t-ball and he's learning to ride his bicycle. We purchased his first wheelchair a few months ago that we used when we go for long distance trips like to the zoo, but he walks 99% of the time. He's a huge sports fan and he memorizes all kinds of facts about players and teams. We think he's gonna be a sportscaster someday. He and his brother have a really special relationship which we really enjoy. Carson's quite protective and Cole just adores him. Our journey with Spina Bifida continues because the situation does bring some ongoing challenges, but we're so thankful for the amazing people we've met through this journey. I wish I could change Cole's situation, but we wouldn't be who we are without having endured and survived what we have. We're so proud of this sweet little boy that we've been blessed with.